giving up half the stage. Right. But we have another exciting set. Wow. Ooh, okay. So we got BDB coming back to the stream, and it's going to be the fan favorite, the local legend himself, Light. And uh, this is an interesting, uh, interesting matchup here. Both of these players... Uh, you know, pretty good at hitting the buttons. Both of these characters. I feel like Light's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Light, Light's okay. Yeah, yeah. But both the characters, too, love scrapping, so it's going to be a fun match. But I feel like Light has just been already, you know, just in the thir first 30 seconds, mm -hmm. constantly in control of the pace, just knowing the advantage so well. I love the idea to stall with Shine just a little bit, uh, but BDB seems to be ready for it nonetheless. Well, a little bit heavy. Yeah, I guess so. Almost at 130, still not dying to the up smash. Ooh, okay. Ambitious recovery with the bike and the, the back hit of the up smash almost taking it. Okay, what's the play? Planning with the forward air. Fortunately wow. got stuck on the ledge. It really, having the bike there cuts down your mm -hmm. options so much. Because, so. yeah, it, it, it definitely, like, prevents, like, how you can dash in. The opponent can throw out a hitbox. That's going to be much more active. Um, it's it's a definitely a nasty place to be in. But Ooh. now that is going to be Fox at the ledge. BDB exhibiting the basic rule of Fox, which is if they are off stage, you need to kill them. If you can two-frame them, you have to two-frame them because that timing uh, is a little bit linear. It is a little bit predictable. And if you can get it, Fox is a light guy. Yeah, and, I mean, it gets from light. The idea of, like, uh, sort of... Still putting the pressure on, coming right back to it, not letting the phase in. But I think we'll see sort of uh, the player versus player adjustment now, because Light probably uh, didn't think that was something he had to worry about mm -hmm. until the Wario hand hit him. Now it's definitely something he'll think about when he recovers. Going through up tilt there was so that. smart because it covered both behind and in front of Fox. And now this is going to be Light just jumping in place, just waiting to find that opening, mixing up with a double jump when BDB expected it last. Ooh. Up, up. Oh, okay. Good use of the neutral air to break it up. BDB on the offensive now. Lots here. Perfect timing. I mean, that was just like a classic anti -air. That's exactly yeah. how you want to be. That That is the God-intended implementation of up tilt. Uh, but either way, like going to be finding that back. You're going to be able to close it out um, only at 68%. And look how much damage he's just able to rack up so oh. quickly. The fact that he was able to get that shield up too for that up air, insane. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> This is a momentum resetter more than anything. Okay. You know, it, it was good recognition mm -hmm, from BDB mm -hmm. that there was a gap, right, right, right? That this was maybe a little bit too loose and, you know, Light uh, could not find the hit there. But you know what? This is looking extremely doable. BDB, though, maybe a little bit too scared, locking themselves into these defensive options, right, just right. trying to get Light off of him. Okay, nice. Oh, wow. The forward air, just so many, like, big, long lasting hitboxes from BDB are slowing down Light's approach, and it's really working out. Okay, lands with an air, but doesn't get the follow-up. Good grab. Light's so good at putting the pressure on, keeping you in shield, and then sneaking those grabs in. BDB is Ooh. using the side to try to mix up the landing, but you know what? Can't mix up your landing when you're stuck, missing a tech. Light, at that point, he dashed in. He knew that, hey, I can react to whatever option that you have, uh, because by immediately dashing in, that gives yourself enough time. If you can neutral get up, if you're going to tech roll out, you can run up and up smash that. Um, damn. Light's good at this game. Yeah, yeah. Been uh, playing for a little bit. A little tiny bit. Oh, is he good? Someone check on him. Oh, he's back. All right. <laughs> Going into game two, still on Pokemon Stadium two, and honestly, the BD Bean fans have a lot to look forward to. That was a pretty uh, solid game one. Okay, well, the light fans, they always know what light to Light fans are to. eating. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. And oh my goodness, that was an attack cancel back here into an up smash. Light, light, relax, buddy. Oh I my god. I'm, uh, I'm actually mad. Light always uh, makes me want to play Fox, and then I go to play Fox, and it's nothing like this. It's like false advertising. He's, cr he's just crazy. Oh my goodness. Well, almost almost takes it. When, when you have the ability just to run up and up smash your opponent with that much confidence in neutral, you know that they are scared. And BDB just not pressing a button at all. Light just getting up there. Wow, he is a terrifying player. He knows how to exhibit pressure like nobody else. It's crazy. I don't, like. I just don't, no one does it like Light does. It's like his specialty. And I think we're just really seeing the showcase here. I said BD Bean was able to kind of slow it down that first game, but like once Light really gets it going. Something to notice that I feel like is so important about Light's ledge trapping, he will almost never lock himself into a, you know, predictable pattern. Is he short hopping? Is he full hopping? Is he full hopping and double jumping? Or is he short hopping and double jumping? And he constantly mixes up his falling aerials. It is so difficult to get a read on what he wants to do. Exactly. Uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, some people kind of discredit it because it is a lot of jumping. 
admittedly, but oh, look at him go. Good for him. Uh, nice, ta <laughs> nice tech light. Yeah. Nice. He does mix it up, though. You are right. And it's, uh, not a lot of people appreciate it. We need another down tilt dash tag. Not oh, okay. That was kind of just a buffer. Oh, he just gets the third hit, sadly. And Smash Full, and Smash Full, that would have been able to do it. But you know what? Either way, that tomahawk grab was so menacing. Light getting a tech chase. I love the soft commitment to an up tilt because it gave him the time that he needed just to continue extending. Crazy. What the what the movement around that forward tilt and everything? Back, they're not gonna kill. Light gonna make it back just fine. Oh my god, he just does it. Crazy game. What? Yo, he had the hand out already. <laughs> he was. He had the he hand said, out already. Yeah. What? He was so ready. To, all right, yeah, good game. See ya. Where he's falling asleep. Wow. Like, he just landed too. That's all that happened, yeah. Hugh. There it is. It's oh, didn't even say game yet. He wasn't even looking. <laughs> whoa, 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 pause, pause. We're gonna we're gonna need to enhance back, on that yeah. really quick. Uh, how do I? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, well, you gave him a Sharingan. I didn't mean to. It was accidental. Okay. It's been a while since I've looked at the replay tablet. Okay, ready? Ready? Yes, yes. Ready? 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 Right. Ready? So up smash is landing. Wario currently vibrating, and then you already hand off the controller. Uh, uh, uh. And there it is. Before game is even on the screen, hands okay. extended. His eyes still. Eyes forward. Unbelievable. All right, crowd going absolutely wild. Coming up next, we got Light's brother himself. 